You can also use the BeatBuddy Manager to edit individual songs. For example, you can edit the default tempo as well as the default drum set that will play once the song is playing in the BeatBuddy. The way you do that is you go to the left side of the song that is selected, and over here you can put in any value you want between 40 to 300 as the default tempo. Here I put in 90. Right under it, you can put the default drum set that will play for that song. Please keep in mind that the Latin drum set is exclusively for the Latin genre. The reason this is, is because the Latin genre has a specialized mapping that is unique to the Latin drum set. So please use it only for that genre. You are free to choose any other drum set for any other song on the Beat Buddy. You could also see how the song would sound in a specific drum set or tempo without actually changing its values. This is done by selecting the song and going up to the top of the screen of the Beat Buddy Manager where the word says playback. You can select any drum set you like, play around with the tempo where its value will change over here, and then you just press play to start it. And no matter what drum set you choose or what value you set, it will not change the actual drum set or the actual tempo that are set as defaults in the song that is selected. In the same area where you change the default tempo and the default drum set of the song, you can also change the title of the song. You do that by selecting the title, pressing the delete key to delete the title, and then replace it with a new name. And then you just click outside that little box and you'll see that the name changed over here in the song that is selected, as well as the name of the same song in the sidebar over here. Always remember to save and synchronize your project with any changes that you make that you want applied to the SD card. You go to File, Synchronize Project, the name of the SD card's drive will show up, and we choose Yes. Now all changes are applied to the SD card.